history. Last season, as Southampton manager, he saw his side go three goals up against Tranmere, only to lose the game. And typically of this competition, now Hoddle has the chance to do it all over again. There's a fine atmosphere up here on the world tonight. It's Tranmere Rovers against Southampton for a place in the last eight of the FA Cup. Which game? Which game? Because <laughs> we've been there. Marsden. Catch Lula again. Taking uh, Tranmere on and whipping Southampton into the lead. And it's a very good goal indeed. And Cash Lula onside Tessum waiting in the middle. Joe Tessum. 2-0 to Southampton. Tip towards Tessum. Deflected. And surely fourth into the net. Dean Richards claims a third for Southampton. And that surely puts a tie beyond Tranmere. This is a different uh, scenario with uh, the same club. Different circumstances, I feel, completely. Drops here towards Parkinson. Well, they've got one. It happens in football, you know, and um, the cup seems to bring it out. It was a magical moment for training. It worked for us, <laughs> I can assure you. Parkinson. They are level, and Paul Rydout has got a hat trick. Well, I'll close your books, everyone. This is the FA Cup story of the season. That, you know, that stayed with us for some time. Let's ride out again. Tough game that the FA Cup game to be three 0 up and and to lose you know four three it was just a, an incredible sort of uh, event. Well, it added time on stoppage time. It must be over. Tranmere Rovers will play Liverpool in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup after the most dramatic of comebacks. I think we've just witnessed one of the greatest, one of the greatest ever comebacks in FA Cup history. Well, that would be the, the furthest thing in our minds would be that result and that performance. As I say, this is a, another day uh, and another scenario. We're at home and we've got to take that advantage. The, the great incentive for us is last eight, the possibility of going to the last eight, you know, of the FA Cup. And we've got a home, a home fixture to do it on with all our support and... Uh, and the passion that will be there in the FA Cup ties. And we've got to put, reproduce what we did against Bolton. Ed, uh, Tottenham have a, a great cup record this season, but they've struggled in the league recently. They have. They actually got off to, do you remember, they got a brilliant start in the yeah. league, but the wheels have slightly come off recently. And it's interesting to look at their last eight games in the league and compare it to those games in the cup, because conveniently they've played eight as well uh, in cup competitions this season. And have a look here, and the contrast is stark, really. They've played eight, as I say, in each, but in the league over here, this is the last eight games, I must emphasise that, they've only won two of them. They've drawn two and lost four, but in the cup competitions, it's been completely different. Those eight games, they've won seven of them, no draws, and they lost just once, and that was at Stamford Bridge, if you remember, but the game when they took the Chelsea back to White Hart Lane was without doubt one of the performances of the season, so they need to transfer the cup form into the league. And if you put a bit of flesh on those bones, just to compare it even further, you see in those eight games, they've only scored seven goals in their last eight games in the Premiership. Well, in the Cup, they've just been scoring for fun. 26 goals in eight games, which is amazing. But by the same token, they haven't been conceding many either. Only conceded four in Cup competitions this season, while in the last eight games in the league, they're conceding more than a goal a game. We always say a benchmark, you want to be conceding less than a goal a game. That sums up their form. They're not scoring enough, and they're conceding too many in the league of late. I thought you were going to ask me a question off the top of your head. That's what you told me two minutes ago, <laughs> to expect. Well, I was going to ask you, Matt. <laughs> we, we talked about the game when, as a Southampton fan, absolute agony. 3-0 up, half-time, come, they come back, Tranmere, to win 4-3. And I was just going to ask you what the odds you reckon that would be in this game. I haven't got Black a clue. A I haven't got a clue, obviously, because uh, I don't bet on things apart from the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> Israel, 33-1. to one. Miss World as well was 1982. Miss World, I... 
a bit on her too. But <laughs> uh, as far as this one's concerned, the fact that um, Hoddle's involved again, it's almost the same fixture, almost the same yeah, fixture. Yeah but with a better side, Spurs than Southampton, obviously. <laughs> pretty much the same, which is avoiding the question pretty neatly, isn't it? Well, you can get 500 to 1, which I'll is interesting. It. it ain't going to happen. I'll have it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Glenn Hoddle keen to consign last season's upset at Tranmere to the history books, but the Merseysiders have made a habit of giant killings in recent years. In the last two seasons, the second division side have racked up seven premiership scalps, and on Sunday they'll be looking to add Tottenham to that list. The last few years haven't been kind to the folk on the Birkenhead bank of the Mersey. Camel Lurds, the biggest employer on the Wirral Peninsula, has shed its whole workforce. Community morale has been hit very hard. In fact, the only good news story around these parts has been the cup exploits of the local football team. another changing room in the country with so many cup idols so many players who've enjoyed their 15 minutes of fame uh, yeah Nick Henry uh, played for Tommy Rovers uh, claims of fame uh, scored the winning goal against uh, West Ham in the FA Cup third round yeah the last three years uh, we've uh, done really well in the cups you know uh, hopefully we can continue but it's it just uh, we seem to raise our game in the cups you know uh, he's the biggest side as well and uh, we have uh, done well over the last few years Jason Kermas my best moment in the FA Cup was when I scored against Everton last season and we won 3-0. Now Parkinson, Kumas the furthest forward for Tramia, Jason Kumas makes it two! Stuff of dreams really, isn't it? It was, you know, especially being a Liverpool fan, you know, scoring against Everton was a great moment. Andy Parkinson, uh, two claims to fame, um, supposedly, two goals against Leeds United. And a goal against Middlesbrough. A tremendous throw out. What a throw. Parkinson. And still. What a goal by Parkinson. That was probably the most media coverage I've had. Um, I don't know exactly what they said. Um, but I just know that it was because it was a, a decent goal. You know, they blew it up uh, out of all proportion, really. Stuart Barlow, my claim to fame is the FA Cup winner against Southampton last season. And that's right up again. People have told me since then, since that night, that it's probably one of the, uh, it's been the best comeback in history. And, you know, for me to be involved in the game and actually come on and score the winner, well, it was pretty memorable. The cup tails don't end with the Tramier players. My name is David Watson, <laughs> and my best FA Cup memory is actually lifting the cup in 1995 against Manchester United. Everyone would love to do it, and when you start to play in the FA Cup in the first round, second round, whatever it is you join it, you think, well, it could be our year this year, and to actually go all the way and lift the cup, the old cliche dream come true. Dave Watson's dream came true thanks to another one of his players. A cup final winner, Paul Rideout, who was with him at Everton. I only sort of start remembering about six months later, you know, and appreciate how important that game was uh, to the fans and, and such by just basically rerunning it on the video. Rideout started the incredible turnaround against Southampton last season, down 3 0 to a 4 3 win. Glenn Hoddle looked to the heavens, and now as Tottenham manager, he has to meet them again. I remember coming home, watching the interviews afterwards, and he was suicidal, wasn't he? He was gutted, but um, it wasn't a good night for him. I'm sure that um, when the draw came and he seen it, was Tramby. I don't think he'll have been best pleased, but um, no, I think he's, he's got a great side together there this season. Certainly the past couple of years, a lot of premiership sides have, have fallen to Tramby Rovers, and I was at Everton when they came to Goodison and got a great result there. And the passion about the cup, it really just brings something special out in the players. And we've even found that out this season. The cup games have come around again and the lads are, are up for the cup. They've slayed the Giants and they sell the T-shirts to prove it. Tottenham have been warned. Rob Palmer, Sky Sports. <laughs>